Hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town of the South and I am in Gulfport, Mississippi and I'm so excited to be sitting with an old friend. I met Mayor Billy Hughes in Jackson, Mississippi. At the time, he was Senator Billy Hughes and I met him through a great friend of ours, Walter Michelle. We love Walter. Um, Walter's great for our state. But when I saw, we're, we're celebrating Mardi Gras all over the South and to say some of us will be um, celebrating St. Patrick's Day too. But I, for some reason, on Saturday, the crew of Gemini, 15th anniversary post, uh, went through my news feed on Facebook and I said, what? Well, first off, I'm Gemini. So I, I, it caught my attention, <laughs> news to say, and I thought, oh, well, they're having a parade for me. Not really. And I started looking at it and I thought, oh my goodness, I have to get down there. I contacted Billy and I said, can we come do a, um, a story on First off, the parade, what it means to Gulfport, and then also talk about other things in the city because I love the city. So thank you for joining me today. Glad to have you in town. I appreciate yeah. it. Give us a little bit of history. I know you've grown up in Gulfport, and you've been coming to this uh, parade since you were a kid. Yeah, uh, since 1969, they've been rolling. And so I can't imagine a, a Mardi Gras without the crew of Gemini. Of course, it is a coast-wide celebration and event, but it's particularly meaningful for them, for somebody who's stuck with it through and through year in year out um, there are probably hundreds of crews across the coast mm -hmm. but this one's got a great uh, heritage within the city of Gulfport of course we're culminating the Mardi Gras season in the last the last parades are Biloxi and uh, which is rolling right now and wow. in Gulfport tonight and Jim and I also does on the Saturday before Mardi Gras so uh, like I said they're, they're steeped in history very busy um, but they they love what they do and they you can tell I can. I, I had to stalk their Facebook page because I was so interested. I was looking at the photos from, well, I looked at 2018, looked at the King and Queen, and um, what does this bring to your city? I mean, I know we've driven down here from Madison, Mississippi for three hours because we want to be a part of a celebration that celebrates our cities. You know, a lot of folks think it was just about the economic benefit and the return on the tourism angle, and that can't be discounted. But the biggest thing Mardi Gras does is it really knits our culture and our people together. You, by engaging, it's one thing to go to the parade, which is important and fun. Mm -hmm. But people who are involved in crews, um, particularly on the court as they move through, not really moving through the chairs, but just getting involved at different levels as dukes and maids and kings and queens, they get to know families and people across the coast that you would not otherwise have the opportunity to interact with. So it really is kind of lends to our melting pot down here. Mm -hmm. Paul and I were at the, uh, the the big ball at the Coliseum last night. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, Secretary of State Hoseman was in town with Lynn. Oh wow! Uh, they come down pretty often as well. But, right. we, but uh, so a lot of folks come to experience that. There's a there's a tableau and a lot of history with that. And then you have balls. So my wife's involved in two ladies' crews down here. So it's just it's just again part of our fabric. Uh, a friend of ours, Johnny Atherton, he was involved with me on a court one time and. Is they said, why do you do it? He said, because our culture, our, our, our heritage requires it of us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and you know, if you think about it, it does. Uh, and it's giving back, it's being involved and kind of having some, have some fun in the process. Well, that is what it's all about. And I love what you said, the heritage. And when you can leave the legacy with, with you, I'm sure that your family came to this, you came to this, your kids are coming to these parades. It just means a lot to have some kind of tradition. That, and I've read all about this as a family friendly, um, parade, it which is. which yeah. is, you know, you don't see that a lot in the Mardi Gras. I was at one over the weekend, um, Friday, Thursday night, and it was family friendly. Yeah. And it was a different atmosphere, but it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. The kids were just, the floats were just amazing, number one. They are. But the interaction that you could see with it, I mean, it just does. It brings you joy, it gives you something to look forward to every year, and likes to have that tradition. So we are excited to be, bring, be down here. I brought one of my friends from high school. Y'all know Sherry Sosby Kelly. Usually I don't say Kelly, I say Sosby, you know, huh? But we wanted to come down here and, and, and vlog about this. So I know that behind me, y'all are gonna be asking me about the character behind me dressed up. That's Thomas Jefferson. He gets seasonal dressed up, so that's who he is. And this right now, it's Mardi Gras. So. In Gulfport, we say we're open for business, but geared for a good time. And uh, TJ's always ready for it. So we, depending on what season it is, he's gonna be representing that. It's gonna uh, be Gulfport. But, we really do take ourselves seriously, but right. understanding this coast is where people come come to live and work and play. So we get to live where people vacation, and it's pretty cool. You know, last thing on the Mardi Gras, it's, it's kind of kind of funny, uh, but you know, my kids have been involved. They always look forward to it again. You're making new friends and sharing what we get to with folks from out of town uh, mm -hmm. and make you regulars when you're coming back. 
But you know, today being Mardi Gras, the beads are priceless today. Oh, good. But they're worthless tomorrow. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> it's Ash Wednesday. But that's part of the fun of it too. And, and you need kind of a, a reprieve because um, these, these carnivals, these parades don't, don't come about just overnight. As you know, if you've been involved in any type of production, it takes a lot of planning. So many crews, they'll take a breather for about a week to a month and then they'll get to work on next year's. Just pre-planning and, and getting ramped up because about August, September, people start focusing on that and paying attention and having their gatherings and parties and things like that in anticipation of this time of the year. So will they redo their entire float to a different theme? Every year and every crew has a new theme. So, oh, they, wow. so they, they do change them. They might use the same chassis, but a lot of times the, the floats will be modified depending on what the crew's theme is that year. Well, that is awesome. Yeah. Well, we love coming to the coast. I've come down here for, the, like I said, the last nine years. We came down here for, for a concert, and that's when, when I met Jeannie. It was a Three Doors Down concert, as a matter of fact. One of my favorite bands. Who's Local from boys. here? Local that, boys. That's Catapa. And at the time, I mean, I know y'all have grown so much, and I had to ask, you know, I'm Jim and I'm nosy. I had to ask what the shovel was, and it's for the aquarium, the groundbreaking of the aquarium. So I want to know, in your opinion, you've been down here, you grew up here, if I was looking for something to do on the coast, of course, we're going to promote Gulfport today because the all along the coast is amazing. What is one thing that you would tell someone you've got to see this? There's not one thing, but that's what's great about the coast. <laughs> um, you got to make sure you eat at many of our uh, award-winning winning restaurants. The freshest seafood you're going to find in the United States. Uh, the way things are cooked here is like nowhere else you can experience from, you know, from New Orleans to Mobile. It's just a great place for mm -hmm. foodies to be coming. Mm -hmm. But one thing we looked at um, is, you know, how we function as a coast. When we talk about a one coast mindset that we celebrate our differences. Each city has its own unique personality, mm -hmm. but there's something neat to be found in each one. Mm -hmm. um, Gulfport being kind of the center of commerce here, we try to have a little bit of fun too, not be too business oriented. Mm -hmm. And so we looked at what the biggest need was, you know, the coastal, oh, it's nothing but casinos down there. No, casinos are cool and they bring a lot of entertainment, but the fact of the matter is we have the largest man-made beach in the world, mm -hmm. again, if you go away hungry from here, it's your own fault. <laughs> um, but we knew we needed some more family-oriented draws. The Lynn Meadows Discovery Center, our children's center, the first in the state, has been uh, one of the biggest draw, draws for tourism uh, uh, year-round since, and over 20 years since it's been in existence. Oh, wow. Um, but the aquarium, you know, we had marine life. Mm -hmm. And marine life was old and antiquated and, and not real sexy, but it had hundreds of thousands of people coming every year. So you don't miss what you never had. Well, we had our version of an aquarium. Mm -hmm. And looking at what has happened in cities like um, Chattanooga and the waterfront in Baltimore, mm -hmm. where aquariums are transformational, we knew that if we invested in something like that here mm -hmm. um, for families, mm -hmm. that it would be in addition to an already great place. But it really does fill a huge niche in our tourism market. And we'll be open uh, the last quarter this year or the first quarter next year. You drive by, you can see the superstructure coming out. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a million gallons of water running through this thing. Wow. We're going to have otters. Uh, the first uh, rotating display is going to be penguins and we had us we have an annual splash bash it's a fundraiser for the aquarium and we had uh, penguins to kind of help us debut it last year so every september y'all come down for it it's a, we will. probably the biggest party of the year yeah. but it is a great time um to just just be seeing but these um the acrylic has been delivered from italy mm -hmm. uh it'll be installed probably within the next month in the main tank wow so it's it's you know, I drive by it every day and I get excited and there's more excitement around the state I didn't realize how much people love aquariums mm -hmm. uh, And I speak to groups here welcoming them to Gulfport to the coast a lot and I spoke to one group of administrators from all over the state and This lady followed me out when I thanked them for being here and told them to have a great time And she pinned me against the wall. She said is the aquarium gonna be real? I said yes ma'am. And she said you promise? I said yes. She said okay. I live in Oxford. I'm moving down Oh. I want to work there, volunteer, whatever I have to do. I love it that much. Wow. So uh, and everybody's got their special animal. Everybody wants to know about sharks. Uh, otters are cool. You know, all sorts mm -hmm. of fish and things. So, and it's going to be very immersive. Um, uh, no pun intended, but there's going to be one picture where you can actually go into the tank. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, but interactive. You know, a lot of touch pools for the kids and stuff. And we also have the, the platform developed when the city acquired this land overlooking this beautiful harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to make sure it was something spectacular. Right. And uh, with our Harbor Lights Festival, the Christmas, I don't know if you've come down, you got to come down for that. Thanksgiving and New Year's, okay. number one Christmas attraction in Mississippi, uh, the top 10 
in small to mid-sized towns in America for Christmas displays. Four years running, we had 75,000 people come last year. Oh, they wow. made a movie about it two years ago on Lifetime, and it's still running called Christmas in Mississippi. Great movie. We're going to have to um, check that out. You need to. But it's so there's so many positives. Um, you know, our Fishbone Alley received national recognition through Main Street USA uh, on our um, resurgence with uh, just downtown, mm -hmm. you know, walkable, livable areas, a lot of entertainment space. So there's a lot of excitement on this coast right now. We're having fun. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what's not to like? I, 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 everything you said, we just came from a great restaurant. The food was delicious. Of course, we come down here, we had to get seafood. I love it down here. And anywhere in the state, you can be here in a matter of hours. Can. I can't wait to come down and vlog on these things. I'll be in contact with you to see when, what I can do, when I can do it. Because that's what this whole thing is, to help you help. It, it, it's, it's inevitable. I did not forward my phone. That was my mother. She's checking on me. So anyway. Who's that I, man you're talking to? <laughs> she hasn't seen it yet, but she will be. But y'all, we want to thank y'all for sitting with us. And thank you for your time and your hospitality. Listen, you have always been so nice since the first day I met you, and I appreciate it. Well, look, when you come back, we'll go out to Ship Island. Okay. They've just closed in Camille Cut, so you can get from one end to the other. It's uh, The whole landscape has changed. And uh, about, about the time summertime, there's going to be a lot more to see and talk about down here. Okay. Everybody come to Centennial Plaza. It's our old VA site. Uh, it was a historic property uh, that we were going to celebrate the centennial, and uh, the war broke out and stopped that before we all born. But the bicentennial... The kickoff was there. Well, that place is being transformed as we speak, and there is a Holiday Inn Resort and a specialty hotel that's going to be uh, that's being built as we speak on 50 acres, and it will open in May. And it has a lazy river, <coughs> excuse me, a seafood restaurant. Again, we have over about a half a billion dollars in investment going on in Gulfport right now. I cannot so. wait to see that. I love Holiday Inn Sun Spring. There's one in Panama City, and I used to go three times a year, and you feel like you're actually in a resort when you walk out that back. You don't realize you're you're in Florida. Oh, this isn't your run of mill, run of the mill Holiday Inn. This is the part right. of their resort flag. Mm -hmm. uh, right. If you'll go by, you can see it off of Highway 90. Yeah. That's where we uh, host uh, cruising the coast in October. You know, right. one of the biggest draws. Uh, it's a, it's a week long sock hop from one end of the coast to the other. But these beautiful 8,000 plus cars register. Uh, number one auto show, classic car show in America. The um, but but that whole campus has been transformed and you're not going to believe it. There's going to be a, a, a water fountain with lights and stuff like that. It's going to just be a remarkable draw that people are going to want to come to time and again. But you can go and, and see it, um, but it's going to be online. There's just so much to talk about. Well, well I'm excited. I'm coming back because I want I want to continue to showcase. Um, and and you're, you're one of my favorite people, so I'll definitely be back. We will be posting this information on this um, description when we get through because I didn't know a lot of this stuff. And I will be back to vlog this. And I know Sherry with her travels. If you don't follow Sherry's travels on social media, you need to. She's a local Mississippian and she does the same thing as she travels. Um, she's known as the um, Sunshine Weather Girl. She is Jim Cantori's secondhand woman. Of course, he blogs her on social media, but <laughs> she will be doing the same thing. You know, if you're looking for fun things to do, Go to your Chamber of Commerce pages. Go to the Gulfport uh, Mayor. You have a Mayor's page. We have a Mayor's page on Facebook. We've got a great website. Anything you need, you can find it here. You know, swing by City Hall, but we're pretty easy. Um, and we change the whole landscape, too, just from how we do our signage and, and get people to where they want to be. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful uh, down here. I mean, it, it, it really is. Yeah. Uh, it's like a facelift, I guess I, you could say. I really believe as a coastal community, we're at a crossroads. We're having more development come in and people look at us from a tourism standpoint, from a uh, residential standpoint. So there's just probably more opportunity than we've seen in a long time. Well, I'm proud for y'all and I'm proud of you. Ah. I know that the city is very thankful to have you as, as the mayor. We're doing and well in spite of the mayor. <laughs> Whatever, you're <laughs> the forefront of everything. But thank you for joining me. And we're gonna go out in a little bit. We'll be doing some vlogs from out there because we want to um, um, vlog from the stage for the parade. So y'all, thank y'all for joining us. We couldn't do this without our sponsors, Kim Goodson Crylight Realtors, North Park Mall. If you've not been in the new Mississippi North Park, you need to go because it also has had a facelift and it's yeah, family yeah. friendly. Yeah. You've got to go. I wanna go see it. You've got to, it's beautiful. So one last primer on Mardi Gras. When you come sure. down, uh, it, there's a French saying, laissez les bons temps rouler. That means let the good times roll. 
Now, some folks have construed that or misconstrued that thinking we're saying, let's eat bonbons and creme brulee. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so you can get by. Depends on how much you had to drink, too. But uh, in any case, it's all about having a good time. And so bring your family and come join us. Yeah, and just keep in mind, I'm a Southern girl. I can say let the good times go really good. The other part, he's going to have to do that for me again before we'll, this is over with. We'll, we'll let Walter Michelle do that. Oh, would that not be hilarious? Yeah, yeah. And then we love some Walter and Jay. Jay Walter. Thank you, Jay Walter, for this introduction several years ago. <laughs> Kudos to you and Beth. We love y'all. And to be marketed, any kind of promotion items that you need, pop on here. Look at the description. Look at what they have to offer. We couldn't go around and do this without our sponsors. So, y'all, stay tuned for what we're going to offer in a little while. We're going to be out live. Sherry's Trials will, too. Thank y'all so much, and we'll see y'all around the town.